Hey everyone, Dot here, and it is fall, which means it is time for comfort foods. And I'm gonna show you a very tasty dish, which is loaded with cheese, all kinds of healthy goodness that will keep you warm on these cold fall nights. We're gonna be making a spaghetti squash gratin, which is also a perfect replacement for your macaroni and cheese cravings. Now, here I have my spaghetti squash. I've already went ahead and cut it in half and took out all the seeds in the pulp. And if you have never worked with a spaghetti squash before, I'll link to a video below where I show you actually how to go ahead and cut it in half. Now there's a couple of different ways you can cook a spaghetti squash. Roasting in the oven is pretty common and a lot of people do that. It takes about 45 minutes. You can also boil it on your stove chop, cook it in your microwave, or do what I'm gonna do, which is I'm just gonna use my new Instapot that I have here, cut side down. I've already got a cup of water in here and I'm gonna cook it for about seven minutes. Woo! <laughs> you want to make sure your squash is cool enough so you can at least handle it and all you're going to do is take a fork and start pulling it like this so see it's all stringy which is what you want about four cups of cooked spaghetti squash when you cook your squash you always want to make sure you drain out as much liquid as possible and as you can see here i've lost a lot of liquid i just have this in a little strainer right here and I'm just letting it sit on top for a few minutes while I'm preheating my oven and getting the rest of my ingredients ready to go. I'm heating up some ghee over a medium high heat in my skillet here. I'm adding just some chopped onion. I'm gonna season the onion a little bit. I'm gonna add some pepper and some kosher salt. I'm gonna sweat my onions, add a little flavor. I'm gonna add a little bit of fresh ground nutmeg. Oh, it smells wonderful with that nutmeg in there. All I'm doing here is just sauteing my onions until they become translucent. So just a few minutes. Next up, I'm going to add my spaghetti squash. I'm going to add a little more kosher salt. And then definitely my black pepper. Seasoning this is really important simply because spaghetti squash can be a little bit bland. And then more nutmeg. Stir everything up. And break apart your squash a little bit. Next, I'm going to add a little bit of cream, heavy cream. You can also use whipping, heavy whipping cream if you prefer. And next up, I'm adding just a little bit of some Gruyere cheese, which is a, a Swiss cheese that I'm using. Gruyere. I may be mispronouncing that. I don't really speak French. And again, just mix everything together. And it's okay to taste it as you go. It is going to go in the oven, but you just want to make sure that you got the flavors right. Perfect. I don't have to add any more of anything else. It tastes great. I'm taking it off heat and getting it ready for the oven. I've greased an 8x8 eight eight baking dish with some ghee. Just pour in your squash, your cheesy squash, I might add. You want to just spread it out. Then take the rest of my Gruyere cheese and add it to the top. And next up some grated Parmesan on top, because this will make a nice crunch. Spread it out. We're gonna pop it in the oven at 375 for about 20 to 30 minutes. That should be more than enough time to give you a nice brown crust on top with that cheese. It took about 30 minutes before I pulled it out of the oven, but I got a nice browning on top, which is what I want. So let's go ahead and take a bite. I'm just gonna take out a little bit there. Now I will say this about this because I cooked the squash in the Instapot a little bit mushier or softer than wood coming out of the oven. So it really is up to you as far as texture. This is going to be much more almost creamier compared to what would come out of the oven if you roasted your squash. But anyway with that let's give it a bite. And this tastes awesome. The nutmeg just, oh, it's just really, really a wonderful flavor with the squash. And like I said, because I cooked it with the squash in the Instant Pot, it's much more uh, creamier mouthfeel. It makes a wonderful addition to your Thanksgiving Day table instead of using macaroni and cheese. I used two cheeses here. I've made it with three different cheeses. Really is up to you how you want to do it. Hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up, hit like, subscribe, share with your friends. And until next time, I'll see ya.